Oh, it's fantastic to be on board with Matchbook. It's uh, we're really looking forward to getting it getting rolling with you guys. Since I opened my eyes, a racehorse was in my world, um, and I'm very very lucky to 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 love it like I do. Um, and I wouldn't change it for the world. Um, it's something I've known since I opened my eyes. I've had a horse involved in my world and uh, I strive to succeed for them. It's just what I've done since a little girl, my ponies all the way up to now, my horses. Um, and I've got a family that's steeped in racing. It's in my blood, it's, run, it's what runs through my veins. And uh, I, I, I walk this road that I go along and uh, I'm loving every minute of it. They, they say it's the Gold Cup for amateurs, don't they? And, and as I was an amateur, Pasha is a hero to be on. You know, he is, what you want as an amateur. I mean, he is the most incredible horse, not only for his size, but where he's been and who he's owned by. Um, and I knew after how well he looked after Victoria the year before, that he's gonna be in for a squeak. And I walked the course with Hayden and dad, and they said at the top of the hill, B, if you can hold on to the coattails here, you're gonna be in for a good chance. And I had to pinch myself at the top of the hill on, on Pasha because I gave him a click in his ear and the revs just appeared from underneath him. And I thought, if you can make it up this hill, we're gonna be bang there, mate. And, uh, and he just did it. And he stuck his neck out and, and, he, and you know, he was tired at the top of the hill, but to bring him back down the chute and back into the winner's enclosure um, and get his picture on the wall for a festival winner um, is, is an incredible feeling. The race isn't over until you cross that line. Anything could happen. Make sure you cross the line. Concentration levels are still at full. Um, you don't have time to think about it um, until you cross the line. And I can remember looking down onto his withers and, and watch his feet go by the grass and thinking, my God, lad, you've done it. You know, and it is, it, it, you know, I just, it's a really hard feeling to explain. Um, proud, passion, um, time, effort, everything that's taken to get there. And he's managed to be the best horse in the race. Um, is, yeah, it's a very, very proud moment. And uh, it's an excited one and, and something you'll never be able to relive with your horse, you know, at that moment of time but um, you do your best to try and make memories and different memories mean different, different feelings and, and whenever you think about it, it brings exactly the same feeling back and that's what we're all living for. You can't, you can't get nervous about it. You can't get wound up because it stops you thinking. You know your controllables, so go out and control them, tick those boxes. Your uncontrollables are at your hands, so don't worry about them. You know, I can't, I can't help if a horse falls in front of him and brings us down. You know, that's uncontrollable. But I can help where I am at the start. I can help what reel I'm on. You know, I can, I can help keep him calm. Things like that, they're your controllables. There's, that's what you focus on. It's focusing, it's concentration. I have to become a sponge. And if I'm not improving every step of the way, then I might as well hang my boots up because I'm never gonna be, um, I'm never gonna get to a ceiling. You know, I don't set goals um, and I don't, because I don't like failure. Um, and I think if I don't have a goal, I don't have a ceiling so that you can keep climbing um, and therefore you're always improving and you're never at the top of your game. Um, so that's, that's what I'm trying to do. And I'm learning all the time because I'm becoming better, because I'm getting the opportunities, I'm able to get out there on better horses, in bigger races against, you know, quicker jockeys, quicker horses. The races are faster, you've got to be more switched on. And it, you know, to be able to challenge yourself all the time is, is something, is just, it's a really, you know, it's something you love to do. You get a buzz out of becoming better. Fingers crossed, guys. <laughs>